Zabi Alonso has become one of the greatest managers this season with Bayer Leverkusen, and one of the most impressive feats that he has accomplished alongside his undefeated record and clinching the Bundesliga title for the first time in club history is the fact that he has been able to engineer Grimaldo and Jeremy Frimpong into some of the best fullbacks in the world. With a combined 36 goal contributions between the two, Zabi Alonso has produced some world-class players in just the span of one year. But how did he do it? Let's start from the beginning in August of 2023. Before the 2023-24 season, things at Bayer Leverkusen were drastically different. Zabi Alonso had just been brought in around October of 2022, and the work he had already done was incredible. Bringing the club from the relegation zone back into 6th place in the 2022-23 season, it was clear to see that his coaching philosophy taught by the great minds of Guardiola, Ancelotti, and Mourinho had immense shockwaves in the Bayer Leverkusen team. The first case of this is in the likes of Jeremy Fringpong, who had already been years in the making. You see, before he joined Bayer Leverkusen, Jeremy Fringpong had been at the Man City Academy, but left England to pursue first team football at Celtic, where he found a great deal of success winning the treble in the 2019-20 season, and subsequently finding a big move to Bayer Leverkusen in 2021. Prior to Zebi Alonso's arrival, Fringpong was an average modern day fullback, staying in his lane and sticking to his role as a wide defender cycling the ball through possession. But there seemed to be something missing from his play, like he had so much more potential that just needed to be unlocked. From the point in which Zebi Alonso joined the club, there is clear noticeable growth in the number of goal contributions Jeremy Fringpong was putting out. His role in the team had been inverted completely, and he now played further up the pitch with a role in the attack, utilizing his speedy dribbling and his ability to be a chance creator and goal scoring threat, which at times was integral. Even just comparing his highlights from a few years ago, his play was much more mundane and straightforward, whereas nowadays, it's much more colorful and exciting to watch. The Athletic described him in one of their articles as a pioneer for redefining the role of a fullback, which is true, but they failed to mention another member of the Leverkusen squad who had been doing that years ahead of Fringpong. His name is Alejandro Grimaldo, and before signing for Leverkusen, he played at Benfica for the 2022-23 season. And before that, he had a spell at Barcelona, which did not go his way whatsoever. But his role at Benfica was very much the opposite of Jeremy Fringpong pre Zabi Alonso. Instead of playing as a typical fullback, very often Grimaldo stepped up the pitch and was a key player in the attack. Last season, he accounted for 8 goals and 13 assists, which was in the top 1% for goals and assists pertaining to fullbacks. The sporting director at Leverkusen said that part of the reason why we dominate games to the extent we do has to do with him reading situations very quickly and coming forward to create overloads. So the idea of playing further up the pitch while still having the defensive role applied to him was not a foreign concept to Grimaldo, which made integrating him into Alonso's system an almost seamless transition. And when Xabi Alonso combined his two fullback prospects with the rest of his new signings, the start of the 2023-24 season would be electric. Bayer Leverkusen's first match of the year was against title contenders RB Leipzig, and this match would be very important in the momentum of the team going forward. Zabi deployed a 3-4-2-1 with Grimaldo and Fringpong out in the wide positions. The match began off slow and Leverkusen started on the back foot, but very quickly things picked up in the 20-25th minute and Jeremy Fringpong would find himself in the penalty area where Boniface would cut it back to him and create an easy finish for himself. And on the other side of the pitch things were heating up just as quick, with Grimaldo dropping a solid defensive performance. As the match continued, Jeremy Fringpong went on to find himself directly involved in another goal assisting Jonathan Ta off a corner. This first match really showed the capabilities of this squad under Zabi's leadership and gave the fans somewhat of an idea of what was to come in the future of that season. Their next big match for the season would be against the champions Bayern Munich. Kane would open the scoring with a header from a deflection off a corner, but when Leverkusen would draw a foul from outside the box, you know Grimaldo had to step up and take that. And he hit it, bang, top right. If this doesn't prove that Grimaldo is a world-class free kick taker, I don't know what to tell you. Because of this and a late Palacios equalizer, Leverkusen were able to draw this match, which was huge for them. As Bayer Leverkusen and Zabi Alonso went on to play the rest of their matches through the season, they wouldn't get beaten by any teams in the bottom half of the table. And Frimpon and Grimaldo played an important role scoring numerous goals and bagging assists for their teams. Up until January, the two fullbacks had a combined 25 goals and assists, accounting for almost 50% of Leverkusen's goal involvements at the time. Their third match and one of the most important was RB Leipzig right after the new year. Again, Zabi's side had a slow start, but very quickly they pinned Leipzig to the back wall and Grimaldo started to cook up. Not only was he solid in the back, but he was incredible in the final third. He assisted two of Leverkusen's three goals with two beautiful crosses from corners. These two exceptional fullbacks made it clear to the world of football that they were the best in their positions, and they further proved this point in their second match against Bayern of the season, who were just trailing behind them by a few points. The match began with Leverkusen on the right track, but quickly Bayern would push them back, with little luck in getting the ball into the back of the net. However, soon enough, Leverkusen scored their first goal, and 30 minutes later, it fell to Grimaldo outside the box, where he would whip it into the bottom corner. 
But that was not all. Fringpaw would sub on in the 65th minute, and a minute before full time, he sealed the win scoring this worldie from 40 yards out. Man of the match performances from both of the fullbacks. Fast forward to the 29th match day on April 14th, they faced it off against Werder Bremen where the title was on the line. Leverkusen were unbeaten up until this point, and this was the day that Xabi Alonso and his underdogs would make history. Is Victor Boniface! Who's in here? And the shots! Oh! But Grimaldo and Frimpong would play a big role in creating these chances. And by the full time whistle, Leverkusen clinched the first title in the club's history. Grimaldo and Frimpong became club legends, beating the odds, and clearly, Frimpong was enjoying the celebrations. This was the first major league trophy won by Frimpong and Grimaldo, and the both of them had gone from being written off as players and were destined to have a mediocre career to now being in the discussion of the best fullbacks in Europe. All thanks to how Xabi Alonso worked his magic on them. Which begs the question how did Xabi Alonso do it? And before I answer that question, if you could hit the subscribe button, it would really help me out. Thank you. First things first, let's really look into the role that fullbacks have in Xabi Alonso's system. On the pitch, he starts a 3-4-2-1. And Xabi Alonso's main idea, when they have the ball, 5 players will cover and 5 players will attack. This is intended to provide the perfect balance between offense and defensive segments of the team. But specifically, how do Grimaldo and Frimpong fit into this? Well, even though it starts as a 3-4-2-1, the team shifts into a shape that more resembles a 4-2-3-1 where Grimaldo and Frimpong can interchange with their teammates to play almost like wingers. There are many instances in Bayer Leverkusen's play where they will overload one side to draw the opposition in and rely on Hoffman or Zaka to find a pass to switch the field in which they can take advantage of the pace and technical ability of their fullbacks. In other words, Xabi Alonso has his team control possession from the back, typically on either side of the pitch, where the other holding will go beyond the opposition midfield line that gives Leverkusen a more advanced midfield option, at the same time, the fullbacks along with the striker will threaten runs in behind to keep the back line from stepping up too high, which creates a gap in the midfield, and from there Leverkusen's extremely technical midfield takes control and often finds Grimaldo or Frimpong, who can then take advantage of their pace and just do their own thing, which most times will result in lots and lots of goals. This change in football ideology is what has molded Frimpong and Grimaldo into the most dangerous fullbacks in the world, and the season isn't even over yet. Bayer Leverkusen still have the opportunity to win the DFB Pokal, who they play FC Kaiserslautern in the final, and obviously Leverkusen are heavy favorites to win this, as Kaiserslautern are in the relegation zone of the Bundesliga 2, and they've also made it to the semi-final of Europa League against Roma, which will be an exciting matchup to watch. Overall, the role that has been played by both Grimaldo and Fringpong this season has been integral to the success of Bayer Leverkusen, and it definitely could not have been made possible if it wasn't for the magic of Xabi Alonso in the dressing room. Because of the impact he's had on both of them, they have both made their national team debuts this year, which is huge and it looks like the sky seems to be the limit for their careers.